going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and today we have massive unboxing number 53 for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video as today we have a super exciting massive unboxing store. We have so many cool aircraft to take a look at here and I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started everybody. Alrighty everybody, welcome to Massive Unboxing 53. I hope all of you are excited for this. We're gonna just go ahead and get started as we have 10 really cool aircraft to take a look at here today. So the first two finally have arrived after nine months. I ordered these in uh, during Black Friday 2023 with the NG models A321neos for Alaska and United. So these end up getting on back order for a very long time, but they finally have been fulfilled and I'm super excited to have both of these. So the Alaska is a replacement for my former Gemini Jets one that I had. And Obviously, the, in, the United is a brand new aircraft. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started here with the engine models, one to 400 scale, Alaska Airlines Airbus A321neo. Again, quite a great looking aircraft. This will prove quite powerful for their fleet. And I'm really excited to have this aircraft. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this super cool box and just get into it. So as you can tell there, we have Airbus A321neo. Here's Chester right here on the CGI. And then we have a really cool color palette here of green and so many various blues. Got the Alaska in the bottom left and the registration of this aircraft over 921 uh, and that's going to be Victor Alpha or sorry Af Alpha Victor which was a former Virgin America aircraft so that's quite cool get NG models there and won the 400 scale so yeah again this is a really wonderful looking plane get the back of the box and really glad to finally have it after waiting for quite a while to get it obviously nine months is quite some time so really happy that it's finally here and we don't have to waste any further time about thinking about it there it is we got the crp card as well let's just go ahead and get into the details guys and again a really nice looking aircraft i love the detail on this one and there it is the ng alaska a321 neo what a great looking plane and correct me if i'm wrong but this might be my first or like only second or third 321 neo i got the delta but man look at that Alrighty, everybody, here it is, the engine models, 1 to 400 scale, Alaska Airlines Airbus A321neo. Great looking aircraft right here, they really nailed this one. Let's go ahead and dive into the details and take a look. Alrighty guys, here we go. So you got the cockpit windows in the amazing nose cone here, the NG Airbus A320 family. Here is the hazard right here, and then you also got an antenna with the L1 door and then nose landing gear. It looks like, is that a little dent there on the front? I can't tell if that's like a little dent or scratch or what it is, but there's a little piece there. You might be able to see it a little bit. It is right like there. So I can't really see it very well on the viewfinder there, but regardless, it looks like a little piece. So who knows? But anyway, minor detail. And then you got the Alaska billboard titles here. And then I think that's an actual red dot panel piece right there, which is pretty unique. So very cool to see that. Got some first class throughout and then you got the L2 door of course, which is quite unique for the E321neo, but that's what Alaska had here. So very interesting to see that once again. As we continue to look through the aircraft, you can see the beautiful Neo engines look, look quite awesome there. And you also got the stripes on there and then you got the fan blades, which you can see right there are quite nice. So very cool to see that right there. That takes us into the back of the aircraft there, if I can get the camera to focus properly. There you go, so you can see L3 door. And then we got, as you can see, the antennas, and you got November 921 Victor Alpha. You get the Wi-Fi box, and then you got the beautiful colors of green, light blue, and dark blue coming into the back there. And then you get the beautiful Chester right there, which is looking absolutely wonderful, really nice. And overall, the Eskimo really adds some real character to this livery. You got the horizontal stabilizers, the APU, every detail that you could want, and overall, it looks quite nice. Looking to the right side of the aircraft, very similar details, a couple of panels, and you also got the red dot on this side too, so quite a unique detail I was unfamiliar with. And you see all the rest of the fuselage, you got the baggage doors, all of it looks quite nice. And I think NG really did a great job on this particular frame. Top of the aircraft looks really nice. You got some nice wing detail in the indentations and all what you would expect for NG321. Neo, and speaking of that, here we got the stand hole, a bunch of great detail underneath, especially on the engines, but the wings especially as well, all looks really nice. So this is a wonderful model. I'm super glad to have it. And I think NG Models did a wonderful job on that offering, and that will prove quite powerful for the fleet for a very long time. That takes us into the one that I'm super, super excited about, the United Airbus A321neo. Man, nine months for not only Alaska, but also for the United 321neo as well. So again, this plane's gonna be huge for airports like Great Plains and others, so I'm really eager to use it. I think it's gonna prove to be a wonderful addition to the collection as United moves towards a new, newer fleet. This is definitely the way to do just that. I think the 321neo was a wonderful choice in a very versatile airframe. So again, really excited for this, and man, does that look good 
head with the color and all that. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and get that out. The United E321 Neo, what a great looking plane. Look at that, wow, that is so good on the color, man. And here it is, everyone, the NG models. One the 400 scale United Airlines Airbus A321 Neo. Wow is all I can say to that. That is a really wonderful looking plane. Man, they did a great job. Let's just go ahead and dive into it, everyone. Alrighty guys, here we go. So you got the cockpit windows along with the nose cone right here. You got the panels and uniting people connecting the world tunnels right here. You got the Star Alliance logo along with the L1 door in the beautiful Evo blue cheat line. And then you got the gray underbelly. Here's the nose landing gear, nose landing gear door. And then you got the United Billboard titles. You got your first class up there, which looks really nice. And then of course, economy plus into economy. As we continue to look at this aircraft, you can see all the various details that look absolutely wonderful. The engines look super nice there with the beautiful Evo Blue. And it's just so weird to see this on an E321 Neo, but I've got used to it and I'm really liking it. You can also see there you got the emergency exit right there with the two overwing exits, the pad right there for it as well, and then the beautiful Sharklet, which looks quite wonderful too. So definitely really cool to get to see that. Along with that, you got the various tip details there. I'm forgetting the name of those for the flaps, but they're really cool. But you got the speed brakes, slats, and flap detail as well. So that's really nice. And then of course you got that look, that door, sorry, the focus is not wanting to work. You can see that door over halfway down the wing. It's really hard to see, but it's really cool. So that's awesome. Got two antennas right there at first, and then you got the Wi-Fi box, and then you get the registration November 4-4, or sorry, is it 144? I think it's 14401, or sorry, I can't see it very well. 44501, that's it. So looking quite wonderful. And then you got the last antenna right there, the L, that's, I guess the L2 door technically, I'm not exactly sure, but anyway. And you got the beautiful Evo blue tail with the uniting globe, that is so wonderful. APU horizontal stabilizers. Again, just a wonderful effort. This is a really great looking aircraft. You got the baggage doors right there and all that looks really great. One slight miscue there on my particular example is it looks like this is gonna need just a little bit of bending. So I don't recommend doing this unless if you're being very careful, but sometimes if you get aircraft like this, just be very gentle and you usually can put it back into a pretty good place. I hate to usually go much farther than that. So I'm just gonna go just a little bit and ta-da, as you can tell, it's a little bit better just by doing that. And this one even is a little bit too far, so just a little push i wouldn't recommend going very far but it's just enough obviously to make it look a little bit more like a 321 neo top looks very good as well let me get this back a little bit so you can see a little bit better top looks very nice and the bottom's really great stand hole all the various details man what a wonderful aircraft i'm so glad to finally have the united 321 neo it took quite the effort but i'm not complaining as it finally arrived it is good as new this is wonderful so glad to have it Alrighty everybody, next up we have a very unique aircraft and I'm super excited to add this to the collection for a very particular project that you may have saw yesterday. Some of you may know what I'm talking about. But anyway, as you can see right here, we have a HP laptop, not I'm just plain. What we have here is a really cool aircraft for that project that I was talking about and I think it's gonna prove quite powerful for this airport. So I'm really excited about this. Let me see if I can get the box open here and then we'll dive into it. Alrighty, everybody, here it is, the Gemini Jets, one the 400 scale, viewing.com, Airbus A321, IAEs, and Sharklets. Feels really interesting to start adding some really unique planes to the collection. Obviously, this is not typically what I collect, but obviously as times went on and more opportunities have arose and obviously sentimental value and all the other pieces of the puzzle. And as I just mentioned, the new project that I'm working on as well, I thought this would be a great one. I appreciate TPA Geek for giving me the opportunity to buy this from him. He had a very good deal on it, so very much appreciate him doing that. But anyway, here's the pamphlet and then you can see the aircraft inside. I think this is gonna be a really awesome addition and really excited to have my my first viewing aircraft and this will be really nice over there with all the other independent slash low cost carriers that I have at those gates at the airport. But anyway, a really great looking aircraft. This looks quite nice. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see what it's all about. And already everybody, here it is, the Gemini Jets, one the 400 scale viewing Airbus E321 with Sharklets. Really nice, simple looking aircraft, but I love the yellow on it. Again, it will prove quite powerful and very glad to have this aircraft. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty guys, here we go. So as you can tell, we got the cockpit windows along with the nose cone, Airbus A321 titles, and then you got the main landing gear right there. There's the L1 door, and then you got the antenna as well. And then you got viewing.com, obviously. I guess the dot's on top, so technically uh, .com. Uh, viewing, I think it's probably gonna be all normal seats and so no first class or equivalent, so that's what you're gonna find on these particular airframes. 
main landing gear, or sorry, nose landing gear looks quite nice there, and I think it's just spot on there with the details and all the other applicable features. Here's the L2 door as well that looks absolutely wonderful, and then you have the beautiful viewing yellow. Sorry about that everybody, my camera died, but anyway, as you can see here, looking quite nice. So you got all the pieces to the puzzle, the beautiful engine once again. I love the color on that. And overall, I think it looks quite nice. There's the Sharklet. They also did a really good job on that. And I think the angle is definitely really nice. I, the NG one's still solid, but I think the Gemini one is a little bit more spot on. So that's really cool. As you can see there, we got the beautiful speed brakes along with the set slot detail, the flaps, and overall just the leading edge of the wing. Looks really nice there. So I think they did a wonderful job. Here's the main landing gear down there too, which also look quite fine. You have the L3 door, and then that takes us on to two more antennas before we get to the registration of Echo Charlie, Mike, Lima, Mike. And then you get their various flags. I think there's probably one for European Union and one for, I can't tell what country that is. I can't really see it on the LCD. So anyway, you can see it hopefully. And then you got the L4 door, which is kind of uh, hid by their polka dots, which is kind of the theme of Vueling's livery. So you can see here, we have the beautiful gray dots and they just start to increase in intensity before it just becomes all gray. And then you got a yellow dot in there kind of add some character. So yeah, pretty simple livery, but quite a nice one. So I think it looks pretty cool. You get the two baggage doors. And again, this will prove really powerful in my project. Project. I'm excited to send this to some of the smaller cities around my airport, obviously, so I'll be able to add some characters. So for any of my European viewers, if you have a particular city you want to see Vueling go to, comment below and you'll see that in the December update will be the first one that appears in because of the pre-recording schedule. With that said, let's go ahead and get into a very special aircraft. I'm really excited for this next one, along with all of them, of course, but this one's really special. So here's a little bit of the backstory as I do the unboxing. Some of you may remember in 2019, before, right before I started doing unboxings of all my models, that I was trying to get some more Frontier aircraft. And with that, Waffle Collectibles, which has always had really good sales, but at that time had a sale from the, what's it called? What's, let's see. I guess I'm gonna have to unbox this off camera. But anyway, talking about Frontier, they had the really good deals on that. Okay, sorry about that everyone. Let me go ahead and get back to my story as I get it out of here now. So anyway, with that being said, they obviously had the really good deals on the Frontiers. So some of you may remember, I got three of them from that particular cell. It was the A320 Neos of Georgia the Painted Bunning, Flower the Hummingbird, and Colorado the Bighorn Sheep. And I used them all for a long time and I ended up keeping Flower the Hummingbird and Georgia, or sorry, Flower, uh, sorry, Georgia the Painted Bunning and Colorado the Bighorn Sheep. So late 2020, Gemini Jets makes a 1-200 release of Flower the Hummingbird. So I decided that they're probably gonna make it in 1-400 as well. So I sold my Aero Classic that I got, which turned out to be the wrong move because, well, they didn't end up making it in 1-400. Well, the other day when I was doing a Frontier Day trip to Denver, I ended up getting Ed, Eddie, and Edwin the Penguins, which I already had the Aero Classics release of from a couple years ago, so that was awesome. And then I was a little bummed out because Flower the Hummingbird was our return aircraft, and I knew that I sold the model of it, and I didn't have it. And I knew that it was pretty tough to find on eBay, so I knew it was gonna be a challenge. Well, I got on there like three or four days after I flew it, and lo and behold, here's a listing for a bid. And it was like $10, so I bid on it. And $33 later, Flower the Hummingbird is back to join Ed, Eddie, and Edwin the Penguins for Frontier Aircraft that I've flown, and what an awesome time it is. And we have a dust spot in the lens. Let me see if I can get that real quick. Sorry about that dust spot, everybody. We just needed a little bit more fun for today's unboxing because it's been active, to say the least. But anyways, Flower the Hummingbird is back. I don't know if Jim and I will ever do it in 1-400, but obviously, four years later, I think that I've waited long enough. For $33, I'm so excited to have it back. They typically go for much more than that, especially that 1-200. It's definitely very valuable. So feeling really fortunate to have another aircraft back that I flew. Again, this is Flower the Hummingbird. It got a really great deal on it on eBay. So feeling really fortunate to have it back. So I pretty much got it for what I did the first time so I was able to get out of this mistake and who knows maybe it's the exact same one that I had I don't know but anyway this is such an exciting moment and flower the hummingbird returns after flying it and I've been just wanting to find an opportunity to get some more front obviously getting it back because it's a great one but this just ended up working out perfectly so flower the hummingbirds back it just feels so weird but this is awesome and welcome back flower the hummingbird and here it is, everybody, the Aero Classics 1 to 400 scale Frontier Urbis A320 Neo Flower the Hummingbird. So cool to have it back. Many of you probably remember it if you've been a longtime viewer of the channel, it making several appearances and airport updates. But 
it's gonna be back and I'm really excited to have it and definitely gonna have to get a little cameo with this one and obviously the penguins at some point in the future. That said, let's go ahead and take a look and what an awesome moment this is right here. Here we go, everybody. Here's the cockpit windows along with the nose cone. We know the drill in the Aero Classics 320 Neo mold. It's quite wonderful, proportionally speaking. Flower the Hummingbird, that's so cool to see. Literally, Gates sideboarded this at the new Frontier Gates at Denver, and it was so cool to get to see the titles up here, and obviously the L1 door in its full detail with the blue stripe and the Frontier Billboard titles, which look quite nice. You get the landing gear, which do roll, so that's awesome, along with the adequate details there. So there's the Frontier Billboard titles. They look quite nice, and overall, I think it's quite good. Colors, maybe just a touch dark but that's a minute detail at this point. And there's the beautiful Neo engines. They look awesome along with the blue behind there. And then you got it on the shark lid as well. You have just the simple details there, which just make this aircraft that much better. So we absolutely love to see that. The emergency exit pads, you got the main landing gear there too. Again, they roll and they look quite wonderful. So definitely super glad to have it. There's flower right there. That's the exact view that I had. I sat in seat 26 F and it was an absolutely wonderful time. So you can see that going strong. And you get the fly to frontier.com titles and you get the registration November 318 sorry let's see if we can get that to focus november 318 foxtrot romeo so really cool tail number right there and you got the l2 door and this is a really basic tail but a really good looking one so obviously there's the hummingbird as it looks quite nice there really cool air or sorry really cool looking bird and overall i think it's quite awesome to have it here in the collection today so that's a really great one to add here right side of the aircraft looks great you got the two baggage doors and then of course you got flower on the other side Let's take a look here at the top of the aircraft, which is quite nice. They did a good job on the detail. And the bottom has a stand hole and all the pieces to the puzzle. So somehow I was able to get this back for a very fair price. I was not expecting that, was not on my bingo card, but can't believe that I have two of the aircraft that I flew in the same day now in the collection. Quite an amazing moment and definitely speaks volumes to what's possible if you let the world just happens so feeling really fortunate once again and overall that is absolutely awesome with that said our next two boxes come from west coast diecast and we have some really exciting aircraft to take a look at today so i'm super excited excited for this excuse me some really big moments here and overall it's going to be awesome so let's see if this box is a little bit easier to get open here it should be because it's just a little bit of tape so anyway this box is a little bigger because there's one aircraft in here I got a really good deal on. Hint, it's a 1-200. So that's why the box is bigger, but we have two. Already with the box open, guys, we have some really cool ones in here. So you can already see one of them. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so here are the first two here from Gemini Jets. They're all Gemini Jets in this case, actually. I forgot about that. So anyway, though, we have the July 2024 releases that I wanted to get. So we have the FedEx Express Boeing 737-200 to replace the NG one that broke on me. So unfortunate, but hey, it happens. And we also got the Delta Colors Emotion MD-88. Excited. Gonna have to improvise using my phone here for a moment because the camera batteries are not charging as fast as I anticipated. But anyway, really excited for both of these and these are gonna be absolutely awesome. Really good deals on those during a sell that they had towards the end of summer 2024. In that said, you can see a really big guy there in the back. I'm really excited about this one. I've been trying to get a some more low cost carriers on 1200 and I got this for $63 so I could not pass up the opportunity when it presented itself. I'm trying to get it out here, but you can see we have the perfectly fitted in here. Gemini 200, one to 200 scale. Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 Neo. What a great looking aircraft. That is absolutely wonderful. So excited to have this one. And I think it's just gonna be a really great aircraft for the fleet. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with the FedEx 757 and we'll just continue to proceed from there. But first and foremost, what an awesome release that was from Gemini Jets. It was really great. So really awesome to get some aircraft from it. And again, I think these will be very powerful in the fleet here today. Anyway though, let's go ahead and get into it. Camera motion's not the prettiest, but I was planning on using the camera, not the phone. But anyway, here we go for the FedEx 77-200 by Gemini Jets. So again, very excited to have this one back. It's been very absent from the last several airport updates. Gemini Jets, FedEx Express, made for collect by collectors. CGI, I love the theme of their boxes. So yeah, it's a really good mold, so I'm not complaining too much, although that NG1 was just spot on. So 2024 release. So yeah, been waiting for the opportunity for one of these to come out because I knew it was gonna come soon, and this was the chance. So feeling great to have another FedEx 75. Again, it's gonna be a wonderful addition. And welcome back to the fleet, and it is back and better than ever. It's a really good looking plane. That's gonna prove quite powerful. Alrighty everybody, welcome back to the camera here as we have the FedEx Express Boeing 757-200 freighter by Gemini Jets. Great looking aircraft here, what are we waiting for? Let's just go ahead and take a look at this aircraft. 
Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. Here's the cockpit windows along with the nose cone, which Gemini does a really good job on their 757 nose, so we love to see that. Uh, you got the World on Time titles, I believe, right there. L1 door, nose landing gear, all of it looks super nice. The FedEx Express titles, you got the cargo door, and yeah, just looking at it proportionally and with all the additional details on the panels that they've added over the last several years on the 737 mold, it's really progressed well. So absolutely love that. Here's the antenna right here. You got the one window and then you got the RB211s here with the FedEx Express titles there on the engine. Again, it just, it really does look really nice for a Gemini, just being completely honest. It's the one piece mold, but who minds that? You can barely even tell anyway. Main landing gear on point. They look wonderful. And then you got the wing root there with the flap slide and speed brake detail, which is great. Got another window and then the little door right there and you get the registration november 921 foxtrot delta which is great and then you got the fedex tail back here which also looks wonderful you got the apu details all of what you'd expect to see on one of these aircraft and overall it looks really nice the right side of the aircraft is just as good you even got the hazard detail there which once again it just looks so advanced for <clears throat> what it was even five years ago and then obviously you do have some small defects like the engine and printing there on the fedex express titles but who minds that too much i mean you can definitely get over it especially with how good it looks on the other side i mean who can complain too much so yeah what a great looking aircraft to get a little top and bottom here real quick top looks super nice as you can tell quite great detail and the bottom also looks quite wonderful really good detail there on that little hazard by the gemini jets logo and all that's just so nice with the underneath detail what a wonderful offering this is super great and i'm so glad to add this to the collection here as they did a wonderful job on it. Alrighty, everybody, next up we have the Gemini Jets, one the 400 scale Delta Airlines McDonald Doubles MD88 in the colors and motion livery. Really awesome looking aircraft, awesome box here. They do have the 25th sticker on there, so that's pretty interesting. But anyway, got the new Delta logo down there, CGI McDonald Doubles MD88. So yeah, this will be really cool to pair up with my current livery MD88. So this is definitely my favorite throwback Delta livery. I love the colors in motion. I think it looks awesome. Also referred to as some other names like Wavy Gravy and Delta Flot and others. But yeah, what a great looking aircraft right there. There, there's specifications and there it is inside so what are we waiting for let's just go ahead and take a look and again see what this aircraft truly is all about here in the one the 400 scale so there it is inside and man that looks super nice as you can see there with the beautiful tail along with the just mold in general this is super nice and overall feeling really fortunate to have this aircraft especially with that polish underneath this is wonderful Alrighty, everybody, here it is, the Gemini Jets, one to 400 scale, Delta Airlines, McDonald Doubles, MD-88 with the colors and motion tail. Overall, just a wonderful looking plane. Like I said, the tail's amazing, the underbelly, and then the titles there on the front. It's quite wonderful, so let's just go ahead and take a look. Alrighty, guys, here we go. So here's the cockpit windows along with the nose cone. I think Gemini Jets has done a pretty good job here, so definitely awesome to see that. There's the nose landing gear as well, and you got the little rib piece right here, which is pretty cool. There's the L1 door. You got the Sky Team logo in the middle, which is quite fascinating, so definitely cool to see that then you got the older delta titles which of course they used for quite some time so nice to see that and then the antennas making their rounds on the md80s so very cool to see it here and i think it obviously is a little big but who cares it's great additional detail so obviously some first class here and then your comfort plus followed by the main cabin and obviously not too much to go over for the fuselage it's pretty blank but you do have the polished underbelly so that also looks quite nice with the various panel details so definitely cool to see that you got the emergency exits over the wings and then you got the pads right there as well so cool to see all that the flap slot and speed brake detail also is looking quite wonderful and then you got the u.s flag with the registration of number 941 delta lima and you got the l2 door also looking quite wonderful as well you got the four windows behind there also looking very good and you got the gt8ds as well with the exhaust and then you got the main landing gear looking quite great wing detail on point once again just wanted to really highlight that and then the beautiful colors and motion tail i mean how can you complain with that absolutely love the mesh of colors it's quite unique especially with that really kind of i don't know if that's like a really really light blue or what it is on the bottom but just putting all those colors together really speaks to it i love the middle blue i mean it's just so nice and overall what an awesome looking livery it is and it really reflects well in great lighting Right side of the aircraft is also quite wonderful as you have all the additional details that you would expect minus the baggage doors of course and you do have the screwdriver piece rear as well so that's wonderful top of the aircraft looks really nice as you can see in the bottom with the polish once again is so nice and overall it looks really great excuse me the right side here has the baggage doors i keep getting confused with the crj anyway what a great looking plane i'm so glad to have it it looks so nice and yeah you can just look at it and admire it right there this is a really good frame to do that it is quite a wonderful piece and again i'm feeling super fortunate to have it today. 
All right, next up, everybody, we got that Gemini 200, 1 to 200 skill, Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 Neo. Really cool looking box right here. You can barely see the logo right there, but maybe if I turn a little bit, you can see it a little bit better. Spirit right there, and then there's the CGI Airbus A320 Neo. Again, $63 with the discount code. How can you beat that? So really excited to have this. I think it's gonna be absolutely awesome. So uh, I think it was already marked down a little bit. So I don't think there's any issues with it, but we certainly will be finding out a 2023 release from Gemini Jets. And again, I'm really excited for this. We got the stand right here. So I'll go ahead and get that out of there right there. And then let's go ahead and get into the model again. This is super great for $63. So again, I didn't read it. There may have been some defective part or whatever, but it was marked down quite a bit. So yeah, there it is right there. Oh yeah, there is an engine detail attach maybe that's what it was but as you can tell it is substantial paint chipping but you can't really tell anyway so i'll just be able to put it in right there it actually stayed on the engine really well so i'll just be able to put it on there so that's not a huge deal at all actually it kind of just fits on right there as it is so i don't think it came broken maybe it did but regardless that's a really easy fix and doesn't bother me at all for 63 dollars. it's under the plane of course as all of you can probably tell a little bit so yeah the spirit e320 neo so really cool to expand my 1 200 fleet with another really great deal here here excuse me feeling really fortunate to get this and overall what an awesome aircraft so let's just go ahead and take a look at this so let me get it on the stand here for your viewing pleasure and then let's just go ahead and take a look so the spirit airbus a320 neo 1 200 scale what a great looking aircraft this is even with the little tripod stand really good looking plane they did a really great job on this and again for 63 dollars that's what a a380 would be in 1 400 scale or even a 747 so really excited to have this again i think it's a wonderful pickup 971 november kilo and i've flown quite a bit of spirit now so again feeling awesome to have this and this is going to be an awesome addition for all those reasons with that being said let's not waste any further time and go ahead and get into details Here's the cockpit windows with the raccoon mask, my first 1-200 with the raccoon mask, I believe. So I'd love to see that right there. And then you got the Airbus E320 Neo titles. Here's some sort of hazard right there. So awesome to see that. And you got the nose landing gear here with the landing gear door. And then you got the antenna right here. We got the L1 door. And again, it's just so bold here with the spirit titles. So as you can see, spirit, it just looks so nice. Obviously a couple big front seats up here. And then you get into obviously all of your economy as that's what spirit predominantly does. So we love to see that. Wing roots really good. This is my first A320 Neo from Gemini Jets and 1 200 as well. And I really admire their effort and precision. Also, it's very heavy. So that's great for obviously durability and other such factors. But yeah, you can just really turn it here and get some good looks. Spirit.com engines right there. And yeah, it's a really great looking engine too. I just love the pair up and what they did to fill in the titles. I really feel like has proved dividends for Spirit. And I think it's really gonna take them a long way moving forward. So quite an exciting time and overall it looks really nice. So definitely really cool to see that. Got the main gear as well, looking quite awesome. So definitely really cool to get to see that along with the bottom detail right there, which is great. And then top detail also looks really nice with the flap slap and speed brakes. You got the 3D beacon there, no Wi-Fi box in the this guy so that'll take us straight into the back two antennas which also look quite awesome and then of course you got the rest of the economy here which takes us into the last the last antenna and then the l2 door with the registration of november 971 november kilo us flag and then you got the horizontal stabilizers apu the spirit tail really good detail on the rudder as well definitely want to note that it looks quite awesome and overall that's really really great on that side we'll also be doing a full model unboxing of this aircraft as well so that'll be a great opportunity to look at it a little bit more in detail. And we'll also do model reviews on some of the 400 ones. So you can tell the lights run out fast. I'm not trying to hurry, but obviously keeping it efficient for all the aircraft. But yeah, this side's very similar. However, you do have the two cargo doors. So that's absolutely awesome and pretty cool to get the long shadow on this aircraft for different. I think it look, looks quite nice. Top of the aircraft looks awesome. Really good detail on the wings there. That's really great. So very happy to see that. Bottom of the aircraft, you obviously have the antennas down there which are really nice and the stubby ones as well kind of tougher to see but really great and then you've got the air inlets where they would be marked and obviously more detail engine all that and again can barely tell with the engine defect there that it even came off so overall i'm so happy to have this i think it was a great pickup for 63 dollars, and i think it'll prove quite powerful in my collection and give me a nice little spirit memory after flying them several times and fortunately having some very good experiences i'm excited to see what will happen with future or spirit in the future excuse me so awesome aircraft to have and overall feeling super glad to have this model. 
Alrighty everybody, so the next box is already open. I had to get it open so I could get a good thumbnail for all of you because we know how we feel about that. But a really awesome finish here to today's unboxing. Some huge moves here, feeling super excited about this. So as you can see right here, we have the Aviation 400, one to 400 scale, Radia Airbone 787-9. This will be a wonderful aircraft to expand my international offerings. I know they're not flying yet, but I love their livery and they'll be great for great planes, literally. So thought that was awesome. And then the Attitude Models, United Airbus, a320 evo blue livery yes yes and yes oh we'd love to see it boys let's just go ahead and get started with the radio 77-9 i already had to take it all out so i've just briefly looked at it but anyway the landing gear already in there that's what i wanted to say so it, when you see that don't worry but anyways boeing aviation 400 77-9 there's the cgi it looks quite nice november 8 Five seven two Charlie's the registration Radia Air won the 400 scale. All the pieces to the puzzle. It's a really really good looking plane. Back of the box. What are we waiting for? Great Plains needs more international carriers, and it's going to be great. So here it is, the Radia 787-9. What a great looking plane right there. So there it is right there. I got the gear up configuration over there too. But as all of you saw in the previous mass unboxing with that American 787-9. These Aviation 400 planes are so great, and I need to get the United A320s anyway, so I wanted to maximize my investment. So I decided to go with the Radia. There were several other new molds that I really wanted to get, but I thought the beautiful look of this aircraft really just stood out, despite it being a repeat mold. But hey, I mean, how can you complain with how good this plane looks? I mean, like it is one of the most distinctive aircrafts in my collection period so let me just go ahead and get this on the stand real quick and that's another cool part of the aviation 400 offerings is all of them come of course with a stand so let me get this on real quick and there it is everybody the aviation 400 excuse me won the 400 scale radia air boeing 787-9 oh my goodness what a great looking plane this will be an awesome asset like i said and it just looks so cool so really cool to add obviously a whole new region really as well obviously i have some emirates and Qatar, but getting more to that area is really cool and again i think this is going to be really great so with that being said let's just go ahead and take a look so super colorful it's a dark purple color so you can really see it at an angle a little bit better so there it is with the cockpit windows that you can barely see they are tinted so that's really cool along with the nose cone and then of course you got the beautiful nose landing gear which again they're detachable one of the best part of these aviation 400 aircraft and they're very fluid and really good design so very easy to take in and out and it's super fun so that's great you got the flag right there along with the l1 door and then you got the aradia air titles which is super great you got it in their language as well I'm sure they're gonna have some sort of first class so that's what you're gonna find up there along with that 3d beacon and the antenna which is very nice and proportional so we love that there's the l2 door again with all the details and that purple really standing out with the sun right now that's gorgeous really great looking wing root right there they did a wonderful job putting that together and then you got the beautiful engine as well along with the logo there for radia so very cool to see them implementing that as well you can see that the wing looks beautiful right there. I think it looks super nice, so that's really cool to see. And you got the underneath right there, which looks wonderful as well. Overall, it's really nice, and they did a great job. The landing gear do tilt, of course, and do detach, so that's really cool to see, and it looks very, very nice. And you get the wing backside here, which they did a great job on. Then you got, of course, the L3 door, which is absolutely great as well. And I think they did a really good job. One of the neatest features, if that's even a word, but one of the neat features of this aircraft definitely is this wavelength pattern here with all the red, but it looks like some blue and purple also make an appearance. It's a really kind of, you know, like, kind of like what Apple would do or whatever, kind of is kind of what I get from that. So that's really nice to see, but you do have that stubby Wi-Fi satcom box, whatever exactly it is. So cool to see that. And then that gets us to the L4 door with the three antennas in the back and a little cargo door. Again, registration number 8572 Charlie and the beautiful Radia tail. So of course you got the beautiful R and it kind of looks like a window. I think it's a pretty cool design and definitely will catch their eye, uh, the customer's eyes. But yeah, that blue color to contrast that I think works really well. The horizontal stabilizer, APU, all of it looks really nice. And again, I'm not sure when they're gonna be flying or you know what capacity they'll have long-term. But I still think it looks really cool, especially on the right side here. They got their language on top and then Radia Air at the bottom. Again, it just looks so cool and what a great looking aircraft. So overall, this is a really great looker. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Definitely will do a model review with a little bit more sunlight so we can see it a little bit better. But overall, what a great looking aircraft. Got the uh, beacon down there as well. 
and it just is really nice. So don't drop it. It's too nice to drop. So yeah, what a great looking aircraft. This looks absolutely awesome. With that being said, we have the grand finale. So let's go ahead and see that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Attitude Models 1 to 400 scale United Airlines Airbus A320 Evo Blue. Oh my gosh, I never thought when I sold that Aero Classics back in 2020 that we would uh, need four years to get to a new United A320 Evo Blue, but that's how long it took. So for anybody that doesn't know, Aero Classics has been the only other manufacturer to make an Evo Blue United Airbus A320 in 1 to 400 scale. And they did so in late 2019. So I bought that and got it for Christmas and ended up uh, selling it because I was so confident that Gemini was going to do it after they did their Airbus E319 in 2020. Well, it never happened, so I just kind of sat around, twiddled my thumbs, and finally, Attitude Models came through another awesome offering here. They've done some really cool Jet Blues and other Canadian aircraft. So this is going to be huge. I'm so excited to have this. I've talked about it in so many updates, just like the Max 9, obviously. So many desires to can continue to be fulfilled, even at Airlines International. I think there's some sort of video clip out there where I said, uh, the first aircraft is like, what aircraft do you want to see? And I was like, United A320 Evo Blue. I think that was the first answer I had. So yeah, crazy to get it from Attitude, but this is awesome. It's November 407 Uniform Alpha. The box is super cool with the Evo Blue globe. And again, this is a huge moment right here. I'm sure it's gonna look wonderful. The pictures online have looked great. The specifications are also huge. So let's just go ahead and get inside everybody. And I did already see the packing for it, which was a little unfortunate. I wanted my raw reaction, but I was super surprised, but look at how awesome that is. So you got the foam on the outside and you have the plastic on the inside, but you also have, this is the first time I've ever seen anybody do this, little foam pieces for the fence tips, which I think is a, such an awesome addition. So huge shout out to Attitude Models for making that a reality but let's go ahead and just get inside and take a look at what's going to be a stunning aircraft for the fleet for many years to come oh my gosh wow wow oh my gosh that is so sweet wow okay so it just takes it to the next level right obviously the Gemini one is wonderful for what it is, which is a compliment. It's really good for what it is, which is the mold obviously is really solid on that one. Obviously the nose cone's not perfect, but for what it is, it is as good as it can be. Uh, the stand hole doesn't work on this Aviation 400 one. It looks like it looks like it's not quite the right fit. Anyway though, whatever the case is, this ladies and gentlemen, this right here is as good as it gets. You can't get any better than this. I'm sure we could go into detail about the livery not being exactly perfect and you know on and on and on i i just can't recognize it like that right now because of how huge of an accomplishment well i guess accomplishment's a little drastic but how big of a moment this is in the model aircraft landscape to have the united airbus a320 and this moment really want i really want to recognize how fortunate we are in 2024 going into 2025 now to have so many options and various uh, you know so many different manufacturers to choose from as model aircraft collectors you know even five years ago we wouldn't have been seeing a united a320 evo blue done by a subsidiary of panda models so i just think it's absolutely wonderful i'll talk about it a little bit more in a moment but i don't want to waste our light since we have it so let's go ahead and take a look at the united airbus e320 by attitude models this is just absolutely wonderful cockpit windows windshield wipers nose cone is just perfection you can't do any better than that that's as that's as good as it's going to get so absolutely awesome to see that there's no doubt about it just want to make sure it's in good focus here you got star line logo right there connected people uniting the world there's the antenna along with the l1 door and then you got the window and all the various pieces too nose landing gear and then the united billboard titles which are on point they did a really great job on that so you can just see the great cheat line and how good all that looks there's united uh the the spelling of it obviously u-n-i-t-e-d Looks so great. And you can see that second emergency exit between the E and the D, which is kind of cool. Here's the cheat line along with the engines. The sun's really far down right now. It's a really solid shade of blue just looking at it here. And you also saw it, uh, you'll see it at the here in just a moment at the conclusion of the video, what the blue normally looks like. It's really good. They did a wonderful job. And they kind of have some paint variation too. So it's not completely unrealistic. Same cut story for the fence tip, which looks really nice. And then of course you got all the detail in the wing and the flap slide and speed brakes. Main landing gear also are on point. They look quite nice. And all that's just really wonderful. There's the back of the wing over there. As you can see, it's quite great too. So that's absolutely awesome. And then you got two more antennas. And of course you got first class up there, economy plus and economy. I've flown economy plus and economy on the E320. And I have enjoyed my experience every time. That said, you can see the rest of the aircraft fuselage here. 
At the Wi-Fi box in the registration is number 407 Uniform Alpha. US flag, the cheat line continues all the way up to the APU as you can see right there. There's the L2 door, which is awesome too. And you got the beautiful Evo Blue Tell. It looks really nice. This is a very good grainy. I think they did a really good job just for the sake of uh, knowledge. I'll go ahead and do it. give me just a second here so I can get what I need. I'm gonna get the A321 neo for united so i can show you that tail and as you can see it looks really nice as well so kind of similar but overall that looks really great so very similar concept their blue is a little bit lighter it looks more like that gemini max 9 which is not a problem i think it looks really nice so overall really great effort and the right side of the aircraft is also quite wonderful you can see all the details on there and you got the cargo doors as well which is really great and again just a wonderful job it's a really good looking plane top the aircraft super nice in the bottom also looks really great too. Stand hold didn't want to fit on the other aircraft I had right there, but I'm gonna have to try it on some others. So yeah, definitely very nice to see right there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the second one because obviously twice as nice. And why would you not get a second one if you can? And I just thought this was too big of a celebration not to. I almost did for next and I was pretty close, but I decided to just go for one because I think a re-release of that's coming soon. And I'm sure we might get end up getting one of these from Gem9 now that it's finally out by another company, but we'll see. But regardless, I'm definitely super excited about it. So there's the second one. It looks wonderful. So glad to have those. Let's go ahead and take a look at all these aircraft and really summarize today's videos. There'll be full reviews and all that on all the really cool aircraft. Well, all of them are really cool, but the biggest highlights from this unboxing coming soon. We just kind of ran out of light today, so I wanted to make it as efficient as possible so you could get a good look at all the aircraft. So with that said, let's go ahead and summarize this mass unboxing. Really hope all of you enjoy this and stay on the lookout for all the unboxings and reviews coming soon on all these aircraft individually. Alrighty, everybody, as you can tell, that was absolutely wonderful. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these. Flower the Hummingbird is back in the collection on the Frontier 320 Neo. That is an awesome looking aircraft. So glad to have it. Along with the United Airbus A321 Neo, another just wonderful looking plane and finally got it after a very long wait. So feeling super fortunate to have this aircraft now. And man, the Attitude models, United Airbus A320s, they are absolutely gorgeous. The color, the mold, all the pieces to the puzzle. I'm so glad to have those. They're absolutely amazing. The Radia Air Boeing 787 is another awesome addition from Aviation 400. So glad to expand my Aviation 400 lineup in a very unique way and now prove very powerful for great planes. The FedEx 737 is back. So glad to have it and it looks absolutely wonderful. The Vueling Airbus A321 is also another wonderful addition and will be great at Great Forest International. The Alaska Airbus A321 Neo is another really nice plane and a very nice replacement there for the Gemini. That is a really good looking plane. The Delta Colors of Motion MD88 is wonderful too. Very glad to have it and it looks really great as well. And lastly, the 1200 Spirit Airbus A320 Neo for $63 was quite the treat. And overall, I think that all that went really well. So again, I really hope each and every one of you enjoyed this massive unboxing. This was a super fun one to do today. And I'm super excited for the next ones. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. With that, all that being said, that'll do it for today's video. Everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Roger of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Roger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon as Roger of Aviation is signing off.